Sure. And uh, the transcription enabling. And I'll share my screen. Oops, okay, that's the wrong one. All right, so here we are. Feel free to fill in your name on the attendee list. Um, there's a, a few items. I don't know if there's any others that uh, folks want to add, but I, th I thought we'd just start with the software as a service effort, which, Yuhui, do you want to um, share? Do you want me to share this with the group? Or well, I guess sure. I, am, sure. I am sharing it right now. I'll put it in a put it in a link in the minutes as well just to um link, link. all right and that takes you to this page here um where uh Yahui has um done uh drafted and matt's provided some feedback on just kind of this uh software as a service um you know using um grimoire lab um in a software as a service context um and just forget just for giddy i think um but you when you say a poc solution what do you mean it's it just the proof of concept solution. proof of concept oh, yeah. okay sorry no, no, I, I like I knew POC. Like I know I use that all the time as an expression, but I forgot about. Uh, actually, we we have uh, in the latest status that we uh, not not only not only projects the uh, host data on on Giti, mm -hmm. we also start running the projects host data on GitHub. Okay, mm -hmm. that's pretty cool. And that's just Grimoire Lab right now. Um, and the idea is that would it be just Grimoire Lab? Uh, actually, I answered this question uh, in below. I list oh. some key questions there. So is it possible to uh, add some other backend like Augur? Like uh, yeah, we, we, we could do that the, in the seventh question. Yep. Yeah, OK, yeah. Yeah, and uh, I think I think we're you know it's exciting to be open sourced in chaos. Um, I mean, this is I mean I, I think I think um, generally speaking, this is pretty exciting, um, and it's a pretty detailed technical model. Um, that we can share, we can certainly share with um, social media um, without any trouble. And uh, uh, as you can see in this section, we are looking for some help from community. So at least here. Which mm, section? Uh, this section seeking, seeking for, for okay i see yep okay um so we need a, we need a name for the service in both english and chinese mm -hmm. um uh, i I, oof, I don't know what would you call it <laughs> Be um, uh, because we can't uh, choose inside dot chaos dot org as, as it's a um, a domain's name, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and and also we considering we are considering to uh, contribute the chaos dot org to to the community mm -hmm. because we we already registered this uh, this this domain name. Okay, so the would the domain name kind of be the brand in a sense, the name for the service, or would we would we just call it Chaos Insights or something like that? Uh, could be number, number yeah. one. Mm -hmm. Taking other suggestions, if anybody has any. 
Um, I have a quick question for you, Hui. Is this something that we would need to present to the chaos board for approval? Um, so my judgment is my, 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 my best guess is I don't think so. Um, but I guess if we're going to brand it as chaos insights, then probably, right? So if we leave chaos out of the name, um, although it's in the domain, I, I mean, I'll say I don't see anybody being opposed to this. Um, what would I, I, I ask should I you? send the mail or I should I, uh, <clears throat> should we call a meeting to present to introduce the whole idea, whole idea? I, I, I'm not sure, um, Elizabeth, uh, to, I mean, I wonder to, if we, I wonder if we just, um, cause I haven't finished giving feedback on the whole document yet, but I wonder if we, um, just talk about it at a community meeting and see if people think it needs to be board voted or not. I mean, I, I... Yeah, that seems fair. It just seems like, like maybe it's a, something that they should be looped in on if it's kind of yeah. branching out away from the original charter of just mm -hmm. the metrics out there. Now we're kind of going a little deeper and um, yeah. providing more, more information. So uh, it was just a thought. And if, if the answer is no, it's fine. But that's fine too so i just thought i'd bring it up no it's a good question and it's like obviously i'm hemming and hawing about the answer like i don't want to make it anything more complicated than it needs to be but i also don't want to yeah i mean i mean probably sh yeah maybe um bringing this to the other community like the weekly community call um yeah. would be enough because i think most of those folks attend those calls or a good majority of them do so yeah um if there's a if there's a vibe that it's something you would run by a board that would come out in the community meeting and yeah that way we don't that way we don't jump the gun i mean i don't, I don't think any of this holds off progress yahooey um essentially we're just talking about the social process of having everyone buy into it i think yeah, and maybe, you know, since we do need some support from the community, maybe there are folks in, you know, in the mm -hmm. broader community that would like to participate in this. But I know that that meeting is midnight your time, you know, Lisa. So maybe yeah. Matt G or someone can present on your behalf. Sure, yeah, I, think, I, I think, I think, I think Sean or Matt or you can help me present during the meeting. That's super yeah. fun. I, but uh, but also I agree with uh, Shane that uh, I don't think we we um, we would get any negative feedback about how no. things to go in the chaos community because mm -hmm. uh, yeah we just want to you know uh, accelerate the whole progress of the metrics model things mm -hmm. in the open source community and to help more people to get started using the metrics model and verify mm -hmm. it yeah yeah completely and i think because i think there's a lot of folks in that that meeting that aren't able to attend this meeting right here that mm -hmm. have strong feelings and would really like to participate in this and help out with it so yeah i think it's i think it's awesome i think it was, it's yeah. going to be really great for the for the whole broader community so yeah 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 i would also want to bring it to the, the community meeting Sure. Yeah. Um, so the other, I mean, I think, I think, so I think um, maybe coming up with a name is, uh, I don't know, Chaos Insights might be it, but maybe some people in the community will also have an idea of another name. When we've named things before, like when we became people in chaos became known as the chaotics, I believe. Is that what we ended up? We voted on which which how to yes. refer to our <laughs> how to refer to ourselves. So um and and if you have a strong view about what the name should be that would translate well in Chinese and English, Yahui, I, I certainly think the community would welcome that as well. Like mm -hmm. we don't need to direct what it's called if you have a a thought.
I was obviously riffing Chaos Insights off of the subdomain that you chose. Um, and I think um, looking at the next thing, uh, you know, contributing the open metrics model and the front end, I think is a significant contribution to the community because I guess the SAS Rails part is that uh, is that uh, it's just the used code? to yeah it's used to uh, <clears throat> communicate with uh, with uh, with the code to host the platform like GT. Mm -hmm. They would affect in those state uh, this result metrics model result to to display uh, uh, the metrics model result on on the on the uh, repositories hosted on on their platform. Okay. Would this be something that others would then be able to set up like Grimoire Lab itself at the yeah, end? Yeah, so for, for the rest of the other things, it could be, uh, should be the backend running as a Grimoire Lab. And also the database used uh, uh, OpenSearch and the MeroDB. Mm -hmm. So so all the, all the um, up new um, model uh, for this uh, service, like uh, open metrics model and the front end, we will put it as a SaaS model contributed to, to the chaos okay. to make it public and also to welcome more people join joint contribution together. Yeah. I, I, this is, yeah, I mean, I like this idea. Um, have I you have talked one. To... Go ahead, Bernard. Yeah, I have one question. How it is different from the one you pro, uh, proposed today, Sean, in the meeting about that uh, GitHub's um, uh, thing? Because this is also providing a service. That one we are also planning to have like hosted service where everyone can uh, or newcomers can use it. So I'm trying to see some connection in between these two things. So those, I would, I would say that the target audiences are different. That the target audience for a metrics model portal, like what Yahoo is designing here, is right. really any open source person who wants to look at the metrics for projects that they care about, and the the customer for the it's GitHub code. What's it called? Um, I can't remember what it's called. GitHub code. code, some. code, code yeah, spaces. GitHub code spaces. That's that's really aimed at contributors. So people who want to contribute to the project, the code spaces theoretically or hypothetically provide a way for a new developer to begin contributing without having to go through all of the typical installing of all the things to make it work. So I would say that the code spaces are aimed directly at contributors and that the audience for something like this is much larger. Um, this, this, is a, this I would imagine can be consumed by anyone who has open source in their company and wants to look at the stats about their projects. Okay, thank you. Sure. Yeah, I, I see, the, uh, like, I was feeling the similarity because it's a hosting service and it's through API you are providing the model. Mm -hmm. That was a hosting service through, like, experimenting, you are getting the metrics or uh, contributing it, so. Yeah, so I think this is designed to remove the need to understand all the technical details in order to get exactly. metrics. Okay. Um, and all you need to do is just um, fill uh, GitHub or GitHub's uh, repository's address to this ser service. And okay. for the rest of the thing, you can pick up some metrics model you, you, you have interest, and uh, they will help you uh, generate the, the whole result, including the metrics result and also the metrics com uh, composed of this metrics model. You can see the whole pictures and result. Okay. And of yeah, of course, all the metrics and metrics model would link to with, uh, with the metrics model definition to get more help to understand the whole metrics model working. Mm -hmm. you know, you this is Sorry, brilliant. Yeah, no, this is brilliant. I was just trying to see because I was having some similarities in these two proposals and 
was just trying to yeah. understand. So, 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 you know, there need a lot of work. Uh, Mm, but uh, if we want to make this SaaS service uh, working before, because we need infrastructure investment and uh, we, it, we need people involved who had uh, very familiar with uh, front end, back end and infrastructure um, maintenance. So mm -hmm. uh, after we uh, uh, get to uh, have uh, collaborations with Gates Gates people and we, um, it looks like it, it has that, that time we meet all the requirement to set up a s s service. So okay. we quickly get started doing so. So in the future, if we want to extend uh, to to enhance the performance of the ser service, uh, also my company would like to invest more infrastructure to this service to help okay. more people get started. Oh. And so I think that all of that is really great news and positive and I'm looking at the things that we can, the community can help with. Um, and I think we've covered the first three. Are you looking for contributors for the open metrics model and front end or is that the part that Giddy's engineers are going to work on where is the I guess just help are we looking for developer contribution mm -hmm. to this project uh, as it goes uh, so in order to to make the whole progress quickly and deploy it in the uh, deploy it as soon as possible mm -hmm. um, I suggest uh, we will not involve so many um, uh, contributors outside uh, to this work, but uh, after it's deployed on this, uh, deployed, already deployed online, and we contribute all the code and solutions to the chaos for okay. the rest of uh, uh, daily work. That makes We that warmly makes... welcome, yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah, I yeah. think that will, it will happen faster if it's a closed team that builds it at first. There's no question. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah, I agree. I just had to, I wanted to ask and make sure that I had that clear in case, in case that was one of the things you were asking. I didn't want to skip over that. Um, and so then I think we down here, we need a more efficient process for defining the metric models and helping them move quickly and have shorter release cycles. Mm -hmm. And I hear that because we've certainly had long release cycles up to this point. Um, do you see that operating out of this meeting or the metric model? Like this is the metric model meeting. I, I lose track of it's the beginning of the, day, <laughs> the end of the day. Um, do we want to make that uh, like we've had we had a lot of new ones that we looked at um, the last time that are in development. And so I think how do we make them move more quickly is the question. Um, um, actually, we actually we we can discuss like a progress like uh, how to make this uh, some metrics model uh, uh, which is available or which is suitable to be deployed on the SaaS service as um, at the standard to decide can we release it uh, quickly but um, mm -hmm. just, this is just one of the you know uh, decision point uh, to mm -hmm. to decide one metrics model to be released because there are a lot of uh, um, some different types of metrics model is not um, is not available for no. the choice data uh, mm -hmm. things and it doesn't mean this metrics model uh, is not good it just just means it's not uh, uh, available for the choice data uh, right. uh, usage. Yep. Yeah, we certainly so, have some of those. So, and also we would like to make some decisions to see if this metrics model, it um, uh, could uh, could do some insights work um, after they provide us some verification result upon the real world data. Yeah. And feedback and, from users. 
Yeah, and also I'm considering that we can provide some tryout uh, area on the SAS, uh, on the service to let people to try this metrics model to get quickly to to get quickly feedback if they don't have enough um, you know data or environment to try this new metrics model. Mm -hmm. After all those done. I think we can get together to make decision that if we could let this metrics model online of the service. Yehoi, I have a question about that. Um, do you have a group of projects that are gonna opt in to kind of be like our beta testers for these metrics models? Or are they all gonna just get, run through um, the projects that are on Gitty now? Or how's that gonna work? Or do you have thoughts on that? Uh, you mean to try the new metrics model or? Yeah, or even the one that we're gonna release to start off with, like who who's participating, I, think, I guess. I think your question is really great. Uh, actually for current current tryout in the in the POC service, and we, we select the, the top thousand, a top 1000 project selected by Gaty to start running the metrics model we provided to to to, uh, to this service actually okay. uh, uh, you, and also we select some famous uh, github projects like uh, kubernetes vs code uh, they are, they, are, they both has been proving that they are successful for uh, open source projects and we may render them to select some you know not that famous and not that successful project to running our metrics model because we have to say that if the metrics model final result uh, is able to distinguish the different level of metrics model from this perspective so that's the basic rule we define for the current running uh, in uh, in this service tryout mm -hmm. got you and our so when we post kind of this data out there are we um, posting with the names of the projects, or are we keeping that anonymous? I think we're keeping uh, the names. Uh, keep, keeping, um, no, we actually, uh, you mean the contribute, uh, what kind of names? You mean the like, names? Uh, like Kubernetes. Yeah, so is someone gonna, yeah, would someone like be able to pull up Kubernetes and see all their data? No, or is that uh, actually current, in current phase, we, we are not planning to post their names because they are not okay. allowed to, announce the, the result. We just to verify anonymous. Got you. Okay. Okay, perfect. That's what that was my question. Thank you. Yep. So the that draws another question for me then. So what would the if I don't see my project names, how do I know how my projects are doing? Did I miss a piece? Uh, actually you can you can you you can try by yourself, I think. Because okay. as I mentioned, we can do some tryout area in this service. Okay. to let people try out by themselves, like a beta, beta huh. metrics model. Okay. If we think it's not mature yet, but still we, we, we see some value of this metrics model, we can put it on the, on the service to let people try, even for the people who, uh, who create this metrics model to let those, those people to, to try this metrics model. And I know part of the goal of this is to have um, data sets available for researchers, et cetera. And so is, is someone able to use this service without including their data in the data set or is that part of the deal? Does uh, that make sense? Yeah, that's a good uh, question. Yeah, that's a really good question because the, we are thinking that uh, because the, the, all the data we, 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 we got, it's from the public area through the REST API of GitHub or Gitty. It's public. Uh, and uh, we would like to, uh, we have um, attention that to let more researchers to able to get uh, this uh, data to help them to do more research around the metrics model. But we haven't decided yet uh, to follow what kind of progress to, to allow uh, uh, our researchers to guide this data site. We haven't decided yet. So that's why I mentioned here to 
to would like to get more uh, discussion to say okay um, have they for example they have to fill a, a form to say what kind of research they would like to do and then we yeah. prove that to 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 give them the data if this uh, these people um, you know violate their uh, the initial purpose we have right to see some uh, the legal things we we, we can use mm -hmm. yeah because um, i was just yeah, yeah uh go ahead elizabeth then i'll ask oh sorry um i was just thinking like some of the metrics models might include some information about you know individual contributors you know if you if uh, i'm a project and i want to know they, my top contributors yeah i might I not want to include that you know what i'm saying so yeah yeah i got your point that's uh for that for personal information we 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 definitely not we, we would not leak any personal information to anyone outside. This is, um, you know, the legal things. We are not allowed to do this by, by ourselves. Right. Okay. Of course, of course, we are not allowed other people to do something around this information. We will protect this information. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Thanks, yeah. Yuli. Sorry, I have a lot of questions about this. Sorry. Sure, sure. That's good. Good yeah. to have more questions. Yeah. yeah. So my question is, who is the end user of this? Is this a company or an individual or the researcher? I see a researcher being a user of this and uh, you have to find a limitation to that is like, uh, you will see the proposal of the researcher. Many times the researcher just need the data to play with it and then come up with the outcomes rather than having predefined research question. Being a researcher in that boat, I always play with the data and see, okay, what is data telling me? Then I tell my story rather than having a frame of mind and do the research. You so should that always is have a, Fnad, you should always have a research question when you begin analyzing data. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you, but even many a times, how about I am, like, uh, I am socially, research? <laughs> I'm socially obligated to to point that out. Even grounded theory research, you have a question that you're seeking to answer. Otherwise, you, you don't want to. So that's just research training, Vinod. But, yes, I, I, I totally agree. That's why I asked this question, because I have this training and I have worked in a experiment where I had no question. I was exploring data and then I started I started my questioning and work. It does happen. It does happen that way. But I think um, what you is saying is we'd require some kind of framework that a okay. person is looking at. I think also, Yahui, we just um, yeah, in, the, and in this in the sign up process for the site, uh, if like, I don't know how it works in China specifically but in the u.s essentially for the whatever the terms of service for the site are mm -hmm. uh, we just indicate that um you know the repositories that you track will be included in data sets released to researchers oh, okay you know something oh, okay. so people like it's full disclosure up front you know like you're going to get all this cool stuff for free and academics may legitimately request to access it and write papers or whatever it is they do. Um, like, I don't think that would dissuade anyone from using it. And if we disclose it up front, then it passes all of the sniff tests I encounter in my work here as an academic. Yeah, yeah so maybe my suggestion would be we first define the end users, like who will be able to sign up for this service? Mm -hmm. I think it's anyone, right? Yep. Actually, we welcome more people to to uh, start using the metrics model. We deployed on this source service. So, um, if uh, I have my my initial uh, thoughts about this part is that if you are the owner of the uh, project or you are the community manager of this project, you can you can give us the uh, uh, the list of this project repository. And we can start uh, analysis around these repositories by using some some metrics model. And uh, and if the, all the data is public, we can sh we can share and open some uh, public result to everyone. But if it's real for some personal information, 
we will hide them and uh, and only available for people who who own or who have a, 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 a authentication of this uh, of of this project mm -hmm. to say this information. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense to me. Where else yeah. could you use help, Yahui? Have I covered all the points or where are we still lacking? How else can we support this excellent idea? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I, I actually I would like to 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 answer more questions to to all of you because we after we discuss more around this service, the idea behind this service, I think we can get more support from people uh, coming from this community. And in the future, we would involve more people to, to join this contribution together. But uh, at the initial stage, we would like to, you know, speed up the whole progress of this service on um, lunch. Uh, you know, <laughs> soon, yeah. so soon, let's... soon then, 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 then later. So. So I think I think you have, in my opinion, you there's enough of a yeah, green, yeah. green light here to just go and invite um, help from myself or other members of the community where where you need it. Um, you know, right now I don't feel like I have a I, I don't know how I can help personally. So like if uh, like this looks like a really good plan. Um, I don't think we'll have any trouble getting support from the community for it, but it's an important step, as Elizabeth pointed out. Um, actually, actually, there there are lot lot of discussion around the whole things, uh, you know, ongoing work. Uh, maybe I currently haven't listed out in this. I I I I am looking for help from the community from you, but okay. uh, as the working going on. You know, we would have met a lot of questions around this work. So, I, so, yeah. Do you want to do you want to set up separate time to talk about those questions, or do you want to um, I, ask those I questions asynchronously? Asynchronously is an option, and also I um, we can take the Asia Pacific meeting and this metrics model meeting to sync up the whole things. Okay. Yeah. What should yeah, we so, is what what more should we talk about on this than right now? Uh, I think it's uh, enough, and also uh, as you, as you can see that you Elizabeth and uh, Winnot and more friends here have already heard this plan, and in the next community meeting we can get together. Maybe I can join the meeting, <laughs> and we 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 can propose this plan to to everybody. In the community meeting, yeah, to join the discussion together. Okay. So we'll make sure that this is on the agenda for the community meeting a week from today at 11 a.m. Chicago time. Um, Frank has a question of GH Torrent still maintains it itself. I don't know. Um, They've been releasing the entire dump, what they have been crawling so far. So they still, I mean, they're still maintained. They, they still continue on monthly dumps. Yes, last I checked, it was still maintained. Okay. Oh, oh, no update since June 2019. Maybe then I'll cross check it. So that doesn't surprise me necessarily, but yeah, it's um, important to know that. I mean, I certainly think what we're talking about here is going to provide a more complete and richer set of data than is available from GH Torrent. The, I use we used GH Torrent in the original version of Augur like five years ago, and uh, there are a lot of anomalies and issues with that data set, as anyone who's worked with it would know. Um, 
So I think we, I think this effort will surpass that effort. Um, should we move on to the next item in the agenda, Yahui? Or sure, they can go ahead. Yeah, GH archive still works. Frank points out. Um, we discussed these metric models the last time, and there are some metrics that have been tasked to be built from it. I don't know if there's any further updates on any of these that anyone wants to provide. Yeah, um, <laughs> Shen, I, uh, I, 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 as I, um, we, as we discussed um, uh, in this last meeting, if I remember cor cor correctly, and uh, as you as you can see that I marked some metrics with a yellow. Yep, that which be should developed. be the new metrics. Yeah, mm -hmm. and yep. we we discuss it the, the possibility that uh, to put post the to the to the uh, evolution working group to yep. make it as a new matrix. Yep, and I did but, bring the, I did bring that up in the last evolution meeting. Yep. Um, so that work is beginning, but it's not finished yet. Well, okay. um, sure. I sure. think I think I'll make it the forced subject of our next eco evolution meeting and see if we can plow through drafts of those metrics. Okay. In short order. Yep. Okay. So, so for the community's support and uh, and service and also the code quality for this two metrics model, we have been running on the in, on the at least the ten thousand. Uh, sorry, one thousand repositories, both in GitHub and GitHub. Okay. And recently, we will uh, to to using some. A real world data insights back to the uh, to the uh, metrics model definition to make it as a complete version. So yeah, uh, I will finish as soon as possible. Uh, and uh, at many time, uh, at same time, um, we also uh, start trying out some other metrics model to make it as a whole combination of the ecosystem context area. Mm -hmm. So in the next two or three weeks, uh, yeah, I, I think more f uh, more people, uh, like from Chen Qi, from Liang, from uh, uh, from other people, would contribute more metrics model around this area, the okay. text area. Yeah, that's that's awesome and scary at the same time. <laughs> So at the next time we have this meeting, perhaps there'll be even more metric models to propose and go through. Yep, yep, yep. All right, that's ex that's exciting. Um, do we? I mean, we're we got seven minutes left. Do we want to like? Are any of these in a place where we want to start like doing work on them in the meetings, or do we want to not do that yet? Okay. Do we have any agenda slot? Um, we have, uh, just to suggest, uh, if anybody had feedback on this tagging thing that we discussed last time. And then I think um, this this is a metrics model release. Actually, I think our discussion earlier um, suggests that we, um, uh, cyclical like um, initial release feedback and then I, full release something like that yeah and also I I, I noticed the uh, the mail that uh, Elizabeth sent to Vinod that some metrics uh, could be moved to metrics model I think that's the one option for the for some metrics, so how is the working going on about this part? I believe more metrics would be moved to metrics model. Do we have some work around work plan around this, or we just uh, no? Uh, so, when it's ready, uh, we just uh... go ahead, Bernard. Yeah, so that was from the value working group. Uh, one metric we have released as a model, like I have already submitted the PR. I think that was merged to as a release yeah. model. Yeah. yeah. And for the other one, that was a like idea that was even 
way before the model or anything. And that idea has been just sitting ideal. So maybe it's time to bring it here to like start developing it over here. Okay. And I, I don't know about the other, I, I haven't come across any other model ideas in other working groups I attend. So, values, values got a few, right? Yep. 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 And I think there's some, in, there's some in evolution that we could argue about, but um, yep. I also think we want to enable working groups to draft metrics models on their own. Yep. Um, I don't think we necessarily want to shove every metrics model directly at this group. Maybe we do. I, yeah, no, uh, the no. suggestion was like uh, the working group can develop a model as far as implementation, like software implementation goes that we can be, uh, pass it on to this, this model working group. That's what we did for a model we developed in the value working group, submitted here as a developed model for the implementation by this working group. Yeah. Yeah. Organizational influence. I can't remember who, what working group that comes out of. Yep. It was value. It was uh, some metric which evolved into a model and then and that was organization impact metric, I guess. Also uh, business readiness. We had someone yes. in the value working group that was super interested in working on that. So um, but not, I'm sure you're probably going to connect with him. His name is Tony. No, it was like, I was reading Tony's paper and I came across this model. That's where I initially uh, suggested this to be looked after as a model, proposed model. So uh, then we contacted that Tony, are you interested in further? He was not much interested, but they've written a and published a paper, which I came across and I just threw that idea to be developed in this model working group. Oh, well, we had someone named Tony who just joined, who's a newcomer to chaos. He was learning about, um, he works for an OSPO for a startup and he was oh. super interested in working on that. So I think it's a different Tony. Yeah, I <laughs> oh, think it is. Okay. <laughs> uh, the original author was Tony Wisserman and he's a scholar, like he's a very uh, senior scholar. And he was like, and I came across his paper. That's where I uh, uh, proposed that idea in the uh, value working group. Maybe okay. he was just testing us. Maybe it's the same Tony, and he was like, "Yeah, let me see what nah. these guys do." <laughs> My wild guess is he must he'll not be joining that group because yeah. I've already contacted that uh, scholar and us. Is the um? I think the hope then would be that as things get moved from a working group, would we move them into here? Yes, I think. I think we're still trying to get a, hand, a handle on this. Um, yeah, Huey, are we using this spreadsheet in this group very much? Like, I don't see us refer to it a lot. Not that quick, but I think um, uh, Matt has updated a little bit yeah. to see who, who is signing to, to hand to follow up the, the work mm -hmm. of this specific metrics model. Mm -hmm. But but I think we, we, we should uh, maintain up this sheet okay. quickly to get more people involved to see, to get the clear information about the whole metrics model. Works. Yeah. Okay, I, I agree. Yeah, I, I can do some help together with Matt maybe uh, to work on this, to maintain this sheet. Yeah. I'm. Like, uh, yeah, um, I think maybe at the next time we meet in this group, uh, we should make a, just sort of review and um, really, you know, just review the spreadsheet should be probably an agenda item. Sure, sure, sure. Um, it, it just, it seems like we should, uh, so that'll be August. 
All right. And that takes us to time. So <laughs> yeah. thank you all. We've got our first topic for next time. And uh, we can continue the discussion about the software as a service stuff in the um, in the Asia Pacific meeting next week. Yahui. And also, uh, are you or, or Elizabeth would help to pop up this Yes, uh, we proposal will. to the community meeting, right? Yes, we're gonna we'll we will raise this at the community meeting with enthusiasm and support. Okay, sure. Uh, if I got available time, yeah. not sleeping time, I can attend, <laughs> attend that meeting. I do understand those constraints. So, yeah. if you can, great. But if you can't, we'll be sure to do a good job representing. Yep. Sure. And see you next week, maybe. All right. Yep. I'll see you next week for sure. Bye bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye.